Hey Leos, welcome back to my channel. This is Divine Balance. My name is Carla. I'm going to be doing a reading for December. This is a general reading, so do take what resonates with the rest, which you will if you have to. Now pay attention to the gender on the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. Okay. Quick announcements. Well, first off, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for when I upload. Also, I'm open for readings until December 17th. After that, I will close that until until uh, the beginning of the year. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, not that part. Don't forget to follow me on social media. All of that information is in the description box below, okay? I'm going to put this back in, but I got return as one of the cards. But I'm going to put this back in and see what comes out for you guys. What is happening for Leo Spirit in December? What's happening for Leos in December, please? Thank you so much. Leos. What's going on for Leos in December? Okay. Ooh. came out, I'll do them separately, you got, I hate this thing, you got Divine Feminine, you got Divine Feminine, I'm sorry, I want y'all to see the cards, okay, then you got Divine Masculine that came out following that, and admired, so it seems to me like there is a partnership, if you are not if you're already whether you're already with this person or you um you're if you're already with this person you guys admire each other let me say that you guys in both of the same direction here um if you haven't met this person yet you're about to meet this person who is going to be your divine feminine or your divine masculine and you are both going to admire one another beautiful energy also self-worth came out so you're seeing your worth you're seeing what you want need and deserve and you are not settling for less which is why one of the two are coming in for you and also at the bottom of the deck you're not gonna believe this but family came out at the bottom of the deck so this could be a person that you may um this could be a past person but this could also be a person that you're gonna end up having a family with if you're not, you know, in that situation. Um, so, so far, Leo's. This is interesting. This is a balloon. Okay. All right. Messages for Leo's. What's coming in December? What's happening in December for my one of the Leo's? I'm a Leo rising, so happening in December for Leo's. Leo, what is happening in December for the Leo's, please? What's happening in December for Leo's? Spirit, what's happening in December for the Leo's? Leo's, what's happening in December for the Leo's, please? Okay. Swiping to the right, okay, because all these cards came went to the right. Okay. So the first one was a merry motive. Interesting. I'm gonna have to look that one up. The royal U. Sixteen breaks down to a seven, which is God's number. So the the royal U which is self-worth again and look at this a beautiful uncaging nice and that's 14 which breaks down to a five so you got some serious changes that's about to happen bottom of the deck is a tall tale so uh yeah somebody might be lying to some of y'all but let me 
Where is my box? Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm back. I found the box. So we got a merry motive. Um, you've chosen a path, you set an intention, and you've begun to move toward a goal. You feel compelled to keep going, but do you know the why behind this drive? Do you truly want your pursuing or yeah, do you truly want what you're pursuing or are you chasing a destination with the anticipation of how it will make others feel about you or you feel about yourself? You must choose to be in the flow of the experience, relishing the moment. Surrender your expectations to a higher power rather than being guided by your limited self. The most important aspect to consider now is where you place your focus because that's where energy will flow. If you are resentful, the outer world will show you more opportunities to be resentful. If you are envious of others, competitive and overly ambitious, you will always feel as if you are not enough. If you focus on gratitude and compassion for others, you will see even more reasons to be grateful and loving. When you look for abundance, it has an uncanny way of multiplying in your life. So if you're unsure about your motives, the results will be just as unclear. Dig deep to understand your why. If your true desire is to experience X, let go of your attachment to the form, to the form that X is supposed to come in. Make sure your motive is merry and joyful, clear and honest, and aim true. Trust that the universe will provide the outcome that is a perfect match for your intention. It always does. So, pretty much, whatever it is that you are uh, that you are wanting to bring into your life, make sure that the motive is positive, not negative. And then, of course, I'm thinking a merry motive, a merry Christmas. Y'all like my tree? Isn't she pretty? Isn't she so pretty? I don't know if I should put anything on it. But uh, a merry motive. So it's going to be a merry Christmas as long as your motive is very merry as well. Okay, now a tall tale. Let me look that one up too. Because uh, I feel like this is about to lie. Somebody lying to you. Being deceptive. Could be yourself. Yep, you or someone else is telling a tall tale right now. You always know if a falsehood is spoken because it doesn't feel grounded. When you lie, you get high on an illusion, illusory sense of power that is doomed to fail at some point. You feel driven by the fear of exposure, but something makes you stick to your story even though you know it has no substance. I'm not even going to keep going because, yes, yeah, somebody is lying. you either lying to yourself or somebody is lying to you. Let us keep going. So we got communicating freely. There we go. Communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. Embarking on an adventure. I sever the wonders of the world. So some of you may be traveling. Some of you may be communicating that you want to travel. Maybe you're going out of town for the holidays. Um, or you want to try something different for the holidays as far as a new place to go and then you have um sharing of yourself Ooh, i'm sorry did y'all see that sharing of yourself i am an incredibly generous being so i feel like this is going with the beautiful uncaging these all three are like right together self-worth beautiful uncaging and sharing of yourself so i feel like you are going to be sharing your energy with somebody that's worth it that is fucking amazing. Then we got planting seeds here that's at the bottom of the deck. 
seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. So good positive energy and ideas are being planted within you. Some of you may get somebody pregnant or vice versa. So, you know, be careful. <laughs> now let me see real quick, love. And then I'll do a general general read and see what comes out for you guys. But it looks like, you know, you got some sharing yourself with somebody which is a beautiful thing especially around the holiday spirit what is going on for leos in love what's happening with leos in love i'm seeing the word deception really hope that's not the case what's going on with leos in love what's going on for leos in love for this month of december Leo's from the month of December, please. Leo's from the month of December. Okay. Separation. Uh, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That sucks. Then we have passion. Allow yourself, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So some of you will be separating for some from, from your partner. Others of you will actually be having a lot of passion and maybe some makeup sex or some new sex. You never know. Bottom of the deck is healing family issues. Back that up again. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So... Uh, maybe you, maybe this person, you know, that you thought that you were supposed to be with needs to heal family issues or vice versa. But either way, you're healing it so that you can move forward and be happy within yourself. Okay. Now, let's see. Leo's for the month of December. Please. Messages for Leo's in the month of December. Seven of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody, some the truth is going to be revealed about how somebody is not in love and ever wants to be in a relationship. Leo's for the month of December. Leo's for the month of December. Oh, snap. Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away. This is a, damn, this is like a really interesting story. This is a story to me, okay? So you got seven of swords in reverse with the ace of cups in reverse and eight of cups with the king of swords at the bottom. Uh, yeah, somebody's going to be walking away from someone that lied to them about how they wanted a relationship, how they love them, or were in love with them. They are walking away from, you are walking away from this person. Yeah. You're like, oh, I found out, you found out, you found out somehow that this person was full of shit. And I'm feeling like the way this person is holding on to these swords, I'm feeling like this person is fucking selfish as well. But you found out that they weren't really in love or they really didn't love you and you're walking away. This could also be reversed where you found out that you don't really love them and they're walking away from you. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. Either way, somebody's ass is walking away. This is definitely about emotions because you got Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups in here. 
So somebody lied about how they truly felt about somebody. Fucked up. Fucked up. All right. Ten of Cups in reverse. This person does not want the family that you want. What? They are lying like shit. Wow. Ten of Cups in reverse. That truth is coming out. Ten of Cups in reverse. I preach this in reverse. This could be you not being, um... Not using your intuition, not being smart about what it is. Like, you wasn't paying attention to the signs. And it could also be secrets being revealed. About an empress. Maybe a child's mother. Or maybe you growing from this. Mother of your child, children. High Priestess in reverse. Thank you. And look, they're in regret. <laughs> you either regret not paying attention to the signs or they are in regret for the shit that they have done. Five cups. Huh? Look at this. Judgment. So you are making a serious decision about this shit. Figuring out which direction you want to go. Strength cards. One is gaining the strength to go elsewhere. Have a new cycle with someone else. Be on their own after finding out the truth. And they're heartbroken. This could be you. This could be them. This is interesting. So, strength card. This is strength card. Um... Chariot in reverse. Somebody may be trying to block you from moving on. Interesting. I got... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, somebody may be trying to block you from moving... From not moving on. They don't want you to move on. Or you're trying to gain the strength here. You're like, you don't want to move forward. Somebody's trying to gain the strength, but... You got nine of wands and ten of wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Eventually, you're going to surrender this and let go of this fucking burden. You don't want to work together with this person anymore. You don't want to do this anymore with this person. It's not happening. Why is the chariot in reverse spirit? Ten of pentacles in reverse. This person may not have the finances. Uh, they just... Um, they don't want the family situation to end. But if you didn't want it, why? What? I don't get it. Ten of, ten of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's selfish. Eight of cups. See, somebody's being real selfish here is how I see it. They've expressed that they are they don't love you or they were never in love or anything like that. They said, I'm not, I don't want to do this no more. I don't love you. Trying to build your strength back up, right? After hearing this, like, you've never loved me. Really? We had a family. I didn't want the family. Or even if you don't have kids, I didn't want this. I don't want kids. I don't want to have a family. Um, but they also don't want you to leave. So you're kind of, like, stuck. But they don't want the family. They just want to move on. You want to, you, you probably just want to move on. 
tower and the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck like yeah you just want to walk away from this person leave it out in the cold you're like what's the point of this we don't have nothing to talk about eight of cups this ten king of wands in reverse see you somebody being selfish could be you could be you Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I want to communicate with this person. Like, look, I don't want this to end. I don't want you to go. You could be dealing with another um, another fire sign. or the Sagittarius as well. But they openly express that they are they don't want a family. They don't they don't love you, or you found that out. Okay, Eight of Cups. Yeah, you need to walk away from somebody. Um, Six of Pentacles in reverse who's always taken from you. This person was always a taker. They didn't really give a whole lot. Uh, two of Pentacles in reverse. Stop this juggling shit. Somebody may have been taking your money as well. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Two of Cups in reverse. Wow. Yeah, this is deep. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be something financially here. For some of you, this could be like a divorce. This could be um, a marriage or something like that. Could be a divorce for some of you guys. Um, but... This person, it seems like this, you seem like, you seem like you find out this person just wants your money and you ending it. Well, this, you're ending a soulmate connection. You don't want to work on this. You are tired of this person trying to take from you. It's a lot. Like, you you need to walk away from this because all they want is money. And that's what I'm feeling because there's like six of pentacles, eight of pentacles, two of pentacles in reverse. This person, wants, they want money. And you need to walk away from that shit. Do the right thing. Communicate. Do the right thing. Like, yeah, you hurt me. And you're depressed. But it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You might be releasing this person because they're a fucking burden. All they want is your money. Wow. That fucking sucks. Yeah, so Two of Wands, Empress, and the Three of Cups. You're going a whole different direction, you know, to grow from this and be celebrated by people that actually care about you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wow, Leo, that was a different toll. Some of you, so some of you are being admired and knowing your self-worth, you know, you know your self-worth. And you're going to, you're not going to lock your heart up. Please don't do that. Um, for some of you, you're, you and your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine are going to come together. And you're going to admire one another because of who you guys are together. So some of you may have some new love coming in. You may have a new person coming in if they're not already there. For some of you, you're going to find out the truth about somebody not being emotionally into you. And while they aren't, you, they don't want you to go. Now, again, take this how it resonates because this could be you. They don't want you to go even though they don't want the same thing as you do. But you need to because all they're worried about is money. Their asses don't have no money to go anywhere, but they want you to stay. I don't care about you. I don't love you, but, I mean, can we work this out? No, bitch, we cannot work this out. Your money matters are not my problem. That's pretty much how it is. Your money issues don't have nothing to do with me. You don't even care about me. You don't want the same thing. So why do you think I need to stay? That kind of energy. That's some selfish shit. My beautiful witches, what do you have to say to the Leos in December? Okay. What do you have to say to the Leos for December? My wonderful Leos. So, oh, two of them came out. So we got the garden here. Uh, something lovely will grow from this, most definitely. And then we have raindrops. 
take a chance on them. For some of you, you need to take a chance on this new person that's about to come in and rock the shit out of your world. Not even just sexually, but just period. Because they, you guys are going to admire them so much. Um, yeah, don't let the shit that happened with this other person affect you with this new person that's going to come about. So this could be past energy, but I'm just saying. Okay? And then we have wings at the bottom of the deck. You never needed those wings to fly. So you didn't need what you thought you needed. Um, you didn't really need it in order for you to walk away from this. You just needed, you know, the courage. So that is your reading for December. You guys know I will be back. Again, I'm, I'm open for personal readings until the 17th. And then after that, I will be closing it until um, the new year. So um, be careful, behave. You guys take care. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye, Leos.